Hey guys, the objective of this video is to answer these four questions regarding the vector equation of a line. So we have a particle that's initially at 5i plus 10j, so over here, some random spot, and it moves with a velocity 3i plus 4j. For the purposes of this video, I will, I will be representing vectors as 3 plus 4, so that it's more cleaner. So let's begin our first question. It asks us to find the position of the vector after 10 seconds. So we know that position of the vector starts off at 5i plus 10j. And so it must, after 10 seconds, it must move 10 times the velocity 3i plus 4j. And we denote the position of the vector as op. So we can expand this out, 5, 10, plus 10 times the velocity vector, so we have 30, 40. And we add these up, we get 35, 50. So after 10 seconds, the new position of our particle is 35i plus 50j. Hopefully you guys can see that if it starts off at some position, all you do is multiply it by 10 for a velocity vector, so say this velocity vector is every single second, basically you want to times it by 10 to get your new position. Okay, let's move on to question B. Find the distance traveled by P after 10 seconds. So to do this question, with, to find a distance, we do 10 times the velocity vector, 3, 4, so this would equal to 30, 40 as a vector, but we want the distance, so we want the magnitude. So the magnitude would be the square root of 30 squared plus 40 squared and this equals to 50. So what question B did was take the position from here and the position here and find the distance and to find this distance all we did was find the magnitude of the total velocity vector after 10 seconds. For question C, we want to find the position vector after t seconds, so we want to find a general formula. So for OP we have 5, 10, that's where it begins, then plus some time of our velocity vector, 3, 4. So remember this notation, this will be the i's and this will be the j's. So if we group up our i's, we actually have 5 plus 3t. This this whole section is our i, and then we have 10 plus 4t as our j. Lastly, we want to find the time when the particle is at position 65i plus 70j. So what we do here is 5 plus 3t equals to 65. So this is the general formula for the i movement. So we solve this, we have 3t equals to 60, so t equals to 20 seconds. Similarly, if we solve it for the j component, we have 10 plus 4t equals to 70. And then we solve this, 4t equals to 60, therefore t equals to 20 seconds. So after 20 seconds, the particle will be at position 65i plus 70j.